Hi, my name's Gavin Stewart. I'm a brand back under Mick Bruster. It's good to be here at Mortal Kombat, showing us some 10 planet stuff. I love the chase and the hunt. I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror, if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Good to be here and to meet you guys. So I'll give you some of the Tenth Planet stuff. I don't want to give you to go, go too mad with it. There's a bit, there's a few misconceptions with Tenth Planet that it's all like you need to be mega flex, flexible, which you, you won't need any flexibility for today. Bit of inversion stuff just to give you guys a taste of it. Um, is there many like pure grapplers or you already on there? Grappler, yeah, yeah, man of my own heart, right? I don't like getting hit either. <laughs> right. Um, so the stuff that I'll show you today, I, I, I teach to my MMA guys. I don't teach to my MMA guys all of the stuff that I teach to these guys. Most of you guys are grap, like jujitsu guys, we'd say, right? Um, the stuff I want, I want to do stuff that actually works that you can, you can take to the cage. And obviously, I don't want to, I don't want to just be here showing. Like, well, look what we can do with that. Look what we can do. Look at the other twist there. We can do that. You know, I want to give you kind of stuff that you can actually really. What, what would be good is if the dudes didn't come to this, the, the members didn't come. When you actually do your roles, you smash the stuff that I showed you today. You're like, oh, that's good for them, isn't it? Right, so what we teach today will keep secret. Let's get more of Let's have everyone running around the outside for us. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm running Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thinking for something Don't take your breath, I'll stay humble Now wake up, it's time to look at the enemy We are flow rolling from our knees Remember this is part of your warm up, yeah? This is what we do, we're not fighting here yet We're just finishing our warm up Let's go! Okay, so the idea of flow rolling is if you're not used to it, is anything you've seen, you have seen, whatever you've seen, we're just working through position. So if I'm here, maybe I'll punch another reverse heat. But look, he's not really stopping it. I'm not trying to smash him to death. I'm just working on something. Bam! Bam! Let's see if he's got the scale. He'll work out. Right? Off we go. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find. Dandan has flow is too competitive. <laughs> he looks like one of those pitbull types. Yeah. It's like flow roll, nuts on your life. flexible to play it, you really don't. It's all about angles, okay? So, keep an MMA in mind. All I need to play a half decent guard is an overhook, okay? So we're gonna to start today from what we call Cocoon in Tenth Planet. There'll be some names that are a bit weird. Tenth Planet names are a bit different. Um, cocoon, our start position, is sit up butterfly guard. I've got an overhook and I'm wrapping the head. I can be under here too, but for today, we're gonna to wrap the head. So obviously wrapping the head means behind the ears, not the neck. My overhook is deep and elbow is driving in towards my hip. I'll be controlling my far side hip or grabbing my tip, but this is a triangle limb bomb out of that way. This thing here, this is what stops the limb bomb, okay? Because obviously it's very easy to limb bomb. This gives me other things to attack like legs and stuff like that. But for today, we want to play some rubber guard. So the big problem with rubber guard is getting the hands to the mat. We call it zombie in and getting that hand to the mat, okay? But you can see from this position, he's done it for me. He's got his underhook, so he's all happy about that. He'll proud of himself because he's got his underhook. But that to me, when I drop down, is the hand on the mat. So I'm happy with that, okay? So this position cocoon, quite a useful one for me. And I can get here from pulling guard. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but you can, you can get here from pulling guard. Any sort of grappling exchange, as long as I've got a guy in our gym called Wilco, if he can find his <laughs> overhook on there, you go for a ride, all right? So from here I'm gonna to drop to my, I'm gonna to drop towards my dominant side. All my weight is gonna be on my dominant hip. It won't be left or right, it'll be your dominant hip, okay? The leg that I kick the football with is going to be the leg on the bottom. So I drop here, okay? 
And this is the first part of my entry. So I'm in a position, this is just a guard position with an overhook, okay? But the hand is already on the mat. So I've skipped a bunch of steps that would otherwise take quite a long time for me to deal with. So the, the butterfly hook on the top, your non-dominant leg, is going to come out, and I'm going to knee myself in the head. And as I knee myself in the head, I let go of my overhook and hug the knee on the outside. And this is your secret detail for good rubber guard. Hug a damn knee, okay? My clinch is still in play. I'm going to bring this foot over, and I'm going to go elbow in the shoulder, not forearm, okay? Elbow in the shoulder. I'm not going to grab my ankle like this, or this, or this, okay? It's wrist to ankle. So I always show my hand waving up like this. It will look like that, but it's not this, okay? That's too much space. But the control is here. So don't worry about being here. Try and posture up, mate. That's good. That's not bad control. It's really bad for my knee. So all the people that are out there saying that rubber guard's bad for your knees, if you're playing it like this, you're damn right. If the foot is closer to my chest, then my knee is to my chest, then this is bad for me, okay? But when I go here, start trying to posture up, mate. Much better control. Try and limp on. Can't limp on. Um, we're in a good spot here. Not the best spot. This is called New Jersey. There's a bit of a problem, and it's this knee here. Um, but we're going to deal with that really quickly in a second, okay? So your first drill is just going to be to get us to here. We call this, it'll be free New York or free Jersey, okay? And in fact, just to clean it up a bit, I'm going to ask you to bring the inside knee up and put it on his hip. Now we know exactly where we are, okay? This is a free New York. The reason it's a free New York is because the hand was already on the mat. This here is a battle. In, uh, in rubber guard play, okay? But I've dealt with it early before we even moved because we started from cocoon, okay? One more time. Sit up butterfly guard. So I've got two butterfly hooks, controlling this posture, and I've got an overhook. I drop to my dominant shoulder, and as I do, I take my, my non dominant leg, so the leg that's on the top, the knee comes up, and as the knee comes up, the arm comes out, and I steer the foot towards wrist to ankle. Hook in the knee, wrist to ankle. The last thing I do is bring the inside knee up. Place it on his hip. Okay, try and pass up, mate. Try and pass. You've got to do your live drills on this. See that space there? If I'm out here, so it's all gone. That easy to break. Got to watch that inside space. Any questions? Easy so far, right? <laughs> what? Um, it's a bit different, okay? Um, but you'll leave here today with a, a what we call go go clinch choke. And it'll be two steps, boom, and they're asleep. Five seconds, and they're asleep, okay? I want to give you stuff that, that you can use tomorrow, okay? But you've got to just get these fundamentals in before we go. So one more time, I'll get you guys to talk me through it. Oh, overhook, control. Which, which hip am I dropping to? Which shoulder am I dropping to? Dominant side, bang! What's the next play in, guys? Let me tell me. Non-dominant knee comes up, and I replace my overhook, okay? And then go knee outside of the knee, hug the knee. Wrist to ankle, am I grabbing here? Here? Boom! Wrist to ankle. It doesn't look like much, but I'm not trying to control it like this. If that's not the play, the play is here. Okay? And if I'm too low on the forearm, you can crush that frame. Look at that. Same, is that the same again, Matt? Look at that. Now he's driving through the elbow, through this bone, it's structural, you can't get through it. And there's one more piece, really, really important. Pat, tell me what it is. The knee. The knee, the inside space on that knee. This down here is like nothing. Look at how flexible you are. It looks like I could sweep them. <laughs> not without blowing my hip to pieces. Alright? Rubber guard's not bad for your knees. Might be bad for your hips. It's not bad for your knees. Make sense? <laughs>
The knee hugging hand is going to grab the toes. I'm going to push him away. So I'm helping him posture up and I'm going to clear the head there. Okay? Now as I cleared the head, there was a massive detail which everybody misses because of the foot coming over the head. Again, no flexibility required because I'm on my butt, if, if, on my hip. If I, was, if I was flat on my back, this would be a much harder play, okay? But the detail that you want to you really grab is from the shoulder push, I then clinch the head. Back, back to where I was before for the cocoon. This hand then comes round the back and grabs reverse gable. Um, and here it's done, you can see it's almost tapping already and I haven't even started yet. Um, what I'm going to do with my inside leg is straighten it out to stop his forward roll, because he'll try and forward roll. And then my elbow is going to come in towards his, um, towards his chest and I'm just going to squeeze my elbows together for my tap, okay? And it's non-negotiable, people sleep here all the time, it's, it's, a, it's a proper choke. I've come out to Esprit only to just so he stays awake. Um, you're welcome, what can I say? It's more like a, <laughs> more like a baseball bat choke then it's not, everyone, it looks like it's this. And I'm using all this back and shoulders, but it's not, it's this. And it's, this is a sleeper. So I'll just get to there one more time. Um, I won't have to try to leave it like that. So cocoon, dropping down, hug the knee, wrist to ankle. Matt's gonna play a bit of a better defense this time, elbow in tight. So look, I can stop him forward rolling in this position. This position with my leg on the inside is called jersey, and this stops a lot of his movement. So although I can't get my inside space, it's doing a job, okay? And I'm coming out to chill dog in a second anyway, so I don't care about the pass. So I grab the toes, push him to the shoulder, look, and again, I want him to push up. If he keeps his head buried down, okay, I'll, I'll wait. But he's not escaping if he's doing that, okay? So off, uh, flip, and then clinch. And if you miss this, and if you miss that, that moment there to grab, the, to grab the back of the neck, it can make the choke a lot looser, okay? So that's the secret deal. It's almost like a Japanese necktie, where you come under, I'm almost inverted under my, sorry, I'm almost inverted underneath or something. You can see Matt's dying in there. There's a tap with just one hand, just to prove to you it works. I'm coming round the back of the knee. Look at that grip. So, so you guys, when you first learn it, you'll be like, you right? Yeah. 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 You'll be like this. Oh, I can't quite get it. Look, deep, deep, bang. Oop. And he's done. Elbows together. Squeezing your elbows in. Cool. I've well, got one more piece to show on that in a sec. And then we'll move on. That's how simple it is. Fire and flip. You guys want to see one more? Nice, I'll borrow you, mate, just because Matt's going out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dip in, come in. It is that, uh, it is that quick. Uh, cocoon, please, sir. Oh, posture, overhook. And look, this dude's got these skinny little wiry arms. Got to keep that overhook in. Drop to your side, watching your inside space. So you can see here, this needs to be, so that elbow's going to come in. So see, a lot of you guys who were trying to posture, you were like, boom, bang, right? That's cool for me, that's what I want. Maybe even triangles, all right? That space is what I want. He wants his elbow on the inside. Yeah, that stops me getting it back, okay? Knee comes high, wrist to ankle. Try and push up for me, dude. Try and forward roll. All controlled. Everything's doing something. There's no pressure on my knee at all. If anything, it's on the hip. But the hip's a really useful joint, right? It's like a shoulder, and then mine's fucked. It's a really useful joint. This is a hinge. This is a hinge. Pretty shit. So, palm's gonna go to the shoulder. Hands are going to grab the toes. I'm going to give him a little push. Clear the head. Could be a bit violent sometimes, but it is what it is. Clench in the back of the neck. You can see Max in there already. He's already done. Try and keep your eyes open just so now. If you go out, <laughs> round the back. <laughs> elbows together. And then look, it's not this. Even though I can tap him with that, it's this. Elbows in. Boom. And I could go all day. I could go all day with that. Okay? But he will go to sleep. And that's good too. Any questions? That's called go-go clinch, okay? It sets up all the stuff, it sets up go-go platters, it sets up go-go platters, all this stuff. And it started out as it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be a clinch when Eddie first started doing it. And then we were like, nope, that's a sub, that's a legit sub. But it's not this, it's this. Just like a baseball bat choke, all right? Oh, come on, okay, for the You guys want to see one more, does that make sense? See one more? That's good. Yeah, he says, good. That's all you got, that's it. I'm a fight until there's nothing left. It's so wide, you're gonna be hurting bad Cause I've been to hell and back You don't wanna make me mad I stay strong, you will never see me crack And if you get in my way, you're gonna feel the wrath Gotta say it to my face, I'll be looking back We were praise after math when I hit the die attack I'm a mortal When I feel like this I'm a mortal When I 
gym and say, you know, remember guys, you don't need to be as flexible as people think you do, blah, 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 it's not bad for the knee. You need to be a bit flexible though, right? There's still martial arts, there's no good. And you tend to find the people that have spent a long time doing Thai um, do struggle with some of those moves because it's the hip that needs to be flexible. But then you've got some monsters that like, these dudes that you just can't heel hook and the knees are weird, and they just fall into the stuff. But it's not always good because remember, it's a clinch-based system. This is, it was designed for MMA, so, so Temple Planet, you know, there's a lot of people that love Temple Planet, there's a lot of people that don't like Temple Planet. Um, but it's, if, if you think of it like a clinch, it's supposed to be a clinch. It kind of cleans things up. But it's obviously it's something he's always going to do from that position. So I'll start from the start. Oh, I drop to the side. I go here. Fire and flip. I'm not going to remember. Space management. I'm not taking away the space. I'm in control of it. So what everybody will always do here is push off the toe. He's going to try and posture up his head because that's going to get it some blood to your brain, right? That's what it's all about. And he's going to push off the foot because most people think it's a go-go plata, okay? It's not a go-go plata and it's not even in the same foot. Well, I say it's not in the same family. It's not, it's not my foot that's doing the choking. It's my shin and the grip. So but if he gives me this kind of space, this is turbo. Now I'm going to give you a tip if ever you get stuck in one of these. Be careful where you put your hand because my next play will take away your ability to tap. And it's where the sleep lives, all right? It makes me spit when you're um, It will take away his ability to tap, all right? So you see Matt's just moved it up a bit, like, oh yeah, fuck that, I remember that. Um, we've had people go out before, in demo, in demo. So up he comes, I can't do it to no space. So he does this, I push off the hip, and then I triangle my leg there. And I'm just going to let him have his hand back, so he can, oh, you wait. Yeah. Just going to let him have his hand back, so he can tap. Um, but that triangle there, it, this is it now. It's, it's 97% done. All I need is that little screen, look at my grip. Dog shit grip, just so he stays awake. Bang. Okay, all because he pushed off my foot. So he did the thing that his brain is going to tell him to do. If I push off the foot, I'm going to have to get some blood to my brain and maybe stay alive. And I'm like, thanks. Boom! That finished it off. His escape disappeared by doing what he thinks he should do. Okay. And we see this all the time in comp when we're out there. Okay. Because you will, you will push off the foot. I've done it for myself. So fire and flip. Boom. Bang. Bang. Job done. I reach, he grabs the toes. If he grabs the toes and doesn't posture up, it's, it's exactly the same as it was before. But that's what they tend to do, okay? It's not a bad move, he's, he's circling me up. Again, the flexibility is now, there is a little bit needed, not in the knee, all in the hip. But from here, it's just giving me exactly what I want. I just come over the top, triangle, and it's over. There's other plays as well, but we'll leave this here today. You can see I just, um, oops, sorry. So, <laughs> you wait, it's still here. Still here, still here. Um, I'm deliberately like, not squeezing. There's a, another concept that I want to give you, I'll probably we'll talk about it in a second, we'll talk about it um, But this, just add this on, just in case they, they do the right thing. But it's interesting that when we first start playing the guard, most of you guys are like, when I say, gosh, what can we do? It's like, that's what people do, because it's the thing that's free, uh, uh, free, so you're like, I'm going to push off this because it's all I've got, everything else is control. That's what I want, I want you to do that, because we know over the years of doing a template and playing rubber guard, that's probably what they're going to do, okay? The problem is when you're training in the 10th planet gym, nobody fucking does these things because they all know the master you want. Not happening. It used to be great. First open 10th planet Bambi, I could just run around and work in these guys and anything I wanted. Now they're all caught up and uh, they move the same as, as all the other 10th planet guys. And I'm sure the stuff here that you guys do that we would move wrong into, right? Because we don't play traditional, we don't play gi. If you put a gi on, if I put a gi on, it'd be embarrassing. I definitely wouldn't have that camera out. <laughs> you put that away. <laughs> it's for that, right? Um, it's, I just want to show you some of the different stuff. Okay, I'll see one of those, Matt. Uh, yeah, nice, move, mate. It's weird, isn't it? It's okay, clapping, we're doing our gym. Everyone alright, to here? Oh. Anyone tell me what this is called? Oh, it's a trick question. New York? New Jersey. New, New Jersey? Free Jersey. Free! Oh, who said free Jersey? Fucking look at that! So, boom! Bang! Oh, sorry, mate. Like I said, <laughs> like I said, we're here to learn how to fight, right? I, I know it's all this stuff about jujitsu being the gentle art. Fuck off, right? Sometimes if he, that's his fault. He didn't move right. Probably shouldn't have kicked him in the face. But that's not <laughs> but, you know, we're here to learn how to fight. So I've got my go-go coach. He pushed off those toes and posts up. Oh, that's it. Perfect. Thanks, dude. And you see what's happened here? You can't tap him in your leg. And just to make you pay, I'm gonna wait for you to tap. No, 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 no. <laughs> your head. That's it. So him grabbing the foot. <laughs> okay, um, but it is what it is. Obviously, I'm teaching you guys how to attack this. So if you're competitive, you're in a competition and you sleep the dude, good. That sounds like his problem. You've got a ref, you've got a ref that's going to look after him. In here, just be mindful of your training partners. They grab the toes, just be like, this dude can't tap. It's hard to say tap when you've got, a, you know, like a, 
baseball back show up on your, on your uh, windpipe. You have got the other hand, that can be a bit chicken wingy, okay? So just keep an eye on them. If they, it tends to be if they collapse and stop breathing. <laughs> Probably can't do that, go right. Let's see what you got. One, two! <laughs> This is the first time you've learned any 10 planet stuff, John. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think, mate? It's deadly nice, deadly man. It's going to be super flexible to do that move, right? So I've got my map for a second. Anything we play this side, which we call shield on, the flexibility is taken care of by the hip. So I don't really need to be that flexible. And you can see, I'm not a flexible dude. I'm 40, I'm fat, I'm alcoholic. Borderline, borderline. Right, but I don't have flexibility to do this stuff. Whereas if we go the other side, okay, there's all sorts of him diluting it and all this sort of stuff. All right, I do need a bit of flexibility to do this stuff, okay? I'm flat on my back, but not loads. I'm not dying now or anything. There are some positions that get a bit wild, but you can see here, not really flexibility required for any of this. And it's not like it's low percentage and impossible to hit. Um, but if you play chill dark side, I know some of the language is a bit different to what you guys will be used to. Anything chill dark, if, if, if you did that and you thought, you know what, I quite like that little guy, I might be able to put that into my game. Have a look at the, anything from Chilled Up, I guarantee you, you won't need flexibility for it. And of course, we could always work on our flexibility. But yeah, but fuck that, right? <laughs> yeah, you've got time for that. <laughs> Not a chance. Um, but yeah, hopefully, the main thing we try to get across with that first bit is, is that, oh God, you don't really need to be flexible. You just need the angle, move your hips around, and then space management, okay? Any questions on that? Cool, grab some drink if you need one, and then we'll switch it to the truck and I'll give you some new stuff. The next part will be from what we call the truck. So Matt, I'll have you on your back please, sir. I won't worry about passing today. You, you've already passed, you've dealt with all this, which is hard enough to do with this dude. Um, I'm sure you guys will be familiar with just a nice traditional side control, needed position, that's kind of strength, I've got my shoulder justice. So in terms of how you play, um, the side control can twist the side. I don't know if you guys play that here, but you might have a different name. But twist the side is I unravel my head and I go elbow to elbow in the arm. I want to drive this nice and high. And then I've got to beat that second frame. So there might be another frame. It, it depends what style of the side control defense is playing. Matt's playing um, more of a Brandon McCaffrey style rather than a Marcelo Garcia style with a prayer and elbows in. He's let his elbows come away a bit. So I've got to deal with that. So if that frame is in the way, my weight's going to come forward. I'll probably post out towards the hip. I'm going to drop my hip down and then drive up, okay? Sometimes you won't need to do that. It depends what sort of frame they're playing, but it's, it's worth putting in just because it's in front of me. And this is what we call twist aside control, okay? And it's worth having a little drill and just getting your head around where my control points are on this. So nothing at the hips, okay? I'm not too worried about him putting me back in guard or controlling this bottom leg. If he does it, then I've probably got to react to it. It'll probably be with a leg lock. But you can see it's not even that easy for him to do. There's zero control at the hips. If anything, I want the hips to come and get me because that's how I'm going to hit my move today, okay? But my control is it's not here. It's not like you think, it looks like it's a pin. Like I'm pinning him in like a judo guy would. Um, it's not, it's my hip on his shoulder and my big juicy love handle in his face, okay? You right? So you, you might be looking at this thinking, well, Matt's arm's free, so if he puts, let's say he puts this arm through, okay, cool, I'll attack that one there and break that one off. Um, maybe I'll show him some space, he gets this one through, cool, I'll attack that one there. So the safest place for his arms are actually where they are, is that he wants to fuck with my base a bit and try and drive me down towards his hips. And then I've got this, and this is where the battle starts, okay? But the, the, the main thing for you guys to remember as we start this twist aside part off is my weight distribution is going straight through his chin. The shoulder of justice is my love handle. Do you feel that in there? It's leveled up, isn't it? Yeah. Black belt's coming. Where's Ray? Black belt's coming. Oh shit, don't share that. <laughs> so. That's my shoulder adjustment, right? Side control. It's exactly the same in Twister, but it's my love handle that's doing it. Boom. So I, I like to, a bit of a hippie, so I like to imagine all my energies come into the middle and then going down into the face. And that will hopefully get the reaction I want, okay? And we're just going to drill this just for a sec, just so you guys can feel the pressure. It's one of those sort of like invisible jiu jitsu things that's so quite hard to coach it. Um, top leg, splayed it behind. Bottom leg's in, and I'm not too worried about it, because even if he did get under it, let's say I make a mistake and he gets here, this just kind of opens things up for me to like. Okay. All right, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, we'll start from traditional then. So you wrap up it there. This is, shoulder's no good because of this. I'm gonna feed through here. Beat the frame if it's there, so hip to hip, and then drive up, beating that frame, and then we're into twist aside. Bit I should probably talk about is this last hand is just here because what I don't want to happen is him invert and me end up here. That's a 
a legit attack, kind of a legit attack for him, okay? So I'm just keeping an eye on it. I won't reach forward, because that'll take the pressure off. But if he, if he does try and roll, cool, I can then use it. Or I can stop it. it depends. If I'm tired, it might be this. It might be that, because I'm tired. Just give me a minute. Here. Obviously, man comes for free. Um, and you'll find in the 10th Planet Gym, some people will just straighten out. And they'll say, I'd rather you mounted me than got to the truck, which is where we're going to go today. Um, but most traditional guys will turn in this way because they're taught, don't give the back up. This is gold for us, okay? But I'll, I'll teach you the, the way we have to do it in our gym because not everybody, some people will just lie there. You've got like, you know, blues and purples will probably turn in, browns will probably stay where they are, whites will probably stay where they are, maybe browns will go out there. Everyone's playing a different game because you know, sometimes the people that don't know how to roll will roll and make it quite difficult for you to do what you want to do, you know, because he's not moving the way he wants to stay. Do you want to see that, Matt? Yes, sir. Uh, power you here. I can't really feel guilty if I don't Let's see if it works on the big dude. So, like, traditional. Oh, look at this frame. So, with Pat, like, obviously, he's going to frame off good. My shoulder's not going to do what it needs to do, so I need to create some space. If he's not framing off, though, if he's playing more like this, um, go back to where you were, mate. If he's playing here, so you see, like, the frame's not really where it should be, looking to take a shot. That's probably where your frame would be, right? Which is where Matt was. But Pat's is about here. It's quite good for me because I can use my shoulder to roll it through, so I'll go over the head and then I'll use my shoulder to roll that and then pin. There are some checks here, which I love. Um, elbow to the shoulder and then look, I'm going to rotate, go hip to hip so I can beat that frame and then drive backwards all the way up. Shoulder is on the hip and chin is on the love handle. You feel that, Pat? Mm -hmm. So that would be where people think the weight distribution should be, all on the shoulder, nice pin. This is your worst case scenario, that's no good. That's, that's me carrying my own weight. I'm not doing that. He's going to carry it, that's the rule. Shoulder, and then look, that's where I want it. Oh yeah, see those feet come up? That the, tends to be the tell when your pressure's on point. It feels like the shoulder justice, right? And it's a big bit. So if you go make backwards roll, oh, that's what I wanted. Okay, I call that attack mode. Any questions? Different play, completely different play. Let's see what you got. One, two. <laughs> So, anybody struggle with that pressure? This is, this is the hardest part of the whole seminar. All that flashy shit that we've done, this first bit is the hardest part because it's almost invisible. So, sorry, because I remember there's a reason why I'm coming out. So, if, if Matt's here and I'm not really playing it, I'm like, oh, I'm going to get that in. I wouldn't move. What's the point? I've got everything I need here. Um, I'm doing this. It's oh, too good. So, the space is there for me. I'm not, I don't need to create a space. I showed you a way of doing it, okay, for, for the people that it's making sense to. But here I don't need to do any of that, I just go, okay, well there's nothing there anyway, so I might as well give it back. And I'll, I'll see how he reacts to that. It doesn't look that realistic because of the way the arm moves. But you need to remember, he's trying to go this way anyway, so you can try to stop this if you want that. It's quite hard for him to stop because it's the whole body. So if you, it, it's, a, it's another zombie, so that zombie that we, we touched on in the rubber guard. It's not just in rubber guard, it's all over the place, okay? And if, so if I try and do that with my elbow, he's going to win. Okay, much stronger than me. Oh, he's going to win that battle, okay? But if I do that with my shoulder, so it's like the same again. I'm going to win that battle. Oh, maybe let's get to this. Row and a choke. So, hip to hip. I'm not teaching you how <laughs> After the camera turns up, I'll show you a little flow that I've created during coronavirus. I can't do it on camera. <laughs> So that pressure there, feel like that? Hard to teach, so how do I teach that? The only way I can think of teaching this is to be a massive hippie. All of my chi comes into the middle of my body, you get this, don't you? Know? I drive everything in, I'm sitting through, my weight's going through my love handle, okay? I work on these love handles, I'm proud of them. So, he's got options. I won't teach this, it's going to be short time. But if I show, if you come to my gym, roll with anyone with us, and you see that space there, I almost guarantee you it's a play, okay? So be careful. That, and what does that really do for you? Let's say you get that. Oh, mate, if you go. Don't be changing anything for me, to be honest. Okay, if you've got both of them out, okay, you could, like, you know, that reverse shrimp and throw. But then you're to play right now. I'm here and you get both arms through. I don't know if I'd like that to do. I don't know if that's a good thing to do with your neck like that and have nothing protecting your neck. So the best thing you can do there, just as a side note, 
is to try and drive me down towards his hips, and then his hips become relevant. Because right now, they need nothing to me other than attacks. I'm just looking at those hips thinking, hmm, what's he going to do? Okay? So from that twist aside, he's going to invert. When I say invert, I just mean half a backwards roll, okay? And you can see at any time, I can stop it. If I'm not ready to move yet, if I'm not happy with where everything is, maybe this arm's not. No, I'll wait, okay? I will say, keep this hand here. My worst black eyes have come from this position where I'm here messing about. Boom! I take that knee to the face. That's where the worst ones have been. So you always keep an eye on it, but I want it to come backwards. So off he goes, and then we're going to Nessie hook. So Eddie calls this a Nessie hook. It's like this. I'm going to grab the outside of the knee, and I'm going to pull it towards my, um, my stomach. There. And as we land, you'll see I switch from controlling him at the shoulders back to the hips. I want to be on the hips for this one. So there's a position here called Ninja Roll, which is really flashy and cool. And maybe we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see if we can just chuck it in as a little bonus piece later. But we want to do it the proper way. Solid, strong jiu-jitsu every step of the way. So you see my base is switched here. I'm off my, there's no pressure on that face at all. I need one more piece to keep this safe. Um, this is called a fishnet, and it's called a fishnet because it stops people flipping the truck, which is like a truck reversal. Um, but I need what's called a love handle. So bring him over your knee, don't take much. Grab his love handle and then settle him back down. Go on, him out off you go. And this for me is like a good, strong, wrestler sort of MMA position. This is really, this, this is real good clinch, this is. It's really quite hard for him to escape. What can he really do? I mean, obviously most people will try and straighten their legs and stuff like that. And that's cool, but I've got really good control of it. And all the while, he's giving me what I need, okay? Which is that truck. So we'll just add that bit on and we'll pause there. And the only reason I'm stopping at such a little piece of tech is because it's so important, all right? So, here, here, this is all looking good. And that frames it where it should be, so I'm gonna go down and beat it. Pressure, that's the bit, the tricky bit. Knee's coming up, I'm gonna grab it, Nessie hook, steer the knee down, and then I'm gonna go under it and over it. Can't always get this hook, unfortunately, when you play it this way. Sometimes it'll be there. But it is what it is. I want that. I want that if I can. Elbow behind the knee, hook in his leg. Not much control on this, but because it's in and already tight, it's, it's pretty good. And then look, my weight's going to go forward through the leg. I'm going to bring him over my knee just for a second and go under his love handle and then hit his hip. So my shoulder's on his hip. I'm bringing both the legs in. We call this attack mode. There's loads from here. I'm looking down now thinking, hmm, do I want a twister? Do I want his back? Do I want the truck? They're all the same. Let's see what he gives me, okay? Because the rule here, here is, Matt's got a die, because we're rolling, this is a random Catherine thing, Matt's got a die, sorry dude, you've got a die, I like it, you've got a tap, um, but I'll let you choose, because I like it, and we'll call him, I'll decide what he gives me, maybe when I roll, he says, no, no, you don't have it on my back, and I'm like, okay, cool, cuff slice it, or maybe halfway to the back, he leaves his arm out like this, and I'm like, okay, twist it, whatever you want, whatever you want, okay, okay, so that's the rule here, we're not hunting for stuff because that's inefficient and hard work, okay? So the second concept I want to give you today, the only two things that I really care about you learning today, space management, not shutting down space, be in control of it, space is hope, I either want hope, or I want to take away his hope, one or the other, and then this concept here, which is um, Sean Applegate, which is I never really want to use any more than 30% of my strength, or power, or machismo, or good looks, I never want to use more than 30% to get to the kill, okay? And if you do that, you can get, you can take that concept on board. You can't always do it. Sometimes you're going to be in that zone and you just want to get a sermon, you can see it coming, some, something flashy. I struggle with Peruvian neckties. If I ever get one, it's all up to 100%. Ah, I want it. Um, but if you can, you know, if you can take 30% effort, 30% power into your roles, your roles become safer, your cardio becomes better, everything just goes up. And then when you go out into a comp, do what you've got to do, and everything can be sharp. Okay, so this is going to be that principle. Let's just get here. Do you see that, Matt? Brad. Brad, Brad. Best hair in the game. This frame's getting away. The frame's not quite where it should be, so I'll probably keep this. And again, like, if the frame's a bit wispy like this, I'll use my shoulder to create space. Let's say I still do want to go to twist aside to so get more options there. Bring him forward, grab the head, elbow goes in, and then we rotate it over. And that, that tends to be what happens quite a lot. So as the first elbow goes up, the second elbow will follow. Because he knows he's lost the battle anyway. He's getting ready for what's about to happen. Switch your hips. So your hips are going to have to go light. So forward, switch, and drive backwards. Now I'm like, you me? Yep. Nice and good. It's not going to sub him. It's not going to stop him talking. It's not going to be, oh, that's the best I've ever found in the world. I think maybe got half the face of it. It's a long story. It did get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he, he tries to convert, Nessie hook, steer it, 
We're going to go fishnet. Bring him over your knee. Place the hand on the love handle. It's the love, isn't it? And then we're ready to go. Good bit. Come on, mate. Let's go. And all of this. So we live drill this. And you can see at any moment, I can just be like, cool. You know. He did, he, but he did all that. I didn't do any of it. I was just seeing where the section goes. Makes sense. Some of the jokes I'm saying today, I keep forgetting this fucking camera. Let's <laughs> see what you got. One, two! Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play cool. a bit different, right? A bit different. So, remember, this is ever there was a time to remember space and management, not dominance. It's here. When I get into this position now, I mean, I have to be fair, I can, I can manage this pretty well. I can, I can dominate this pretty well. But if I don't let him move, how am I going to get to the next step? And I'm going to move something like this. You see, it points. Oh, I'm playing here. So, I'll show you the side of the set, but I'll get my lovely one. So, what I'm looking at this top leg is, uh, all those toes creeping towards me, and can I use my top leg to hook his heel? And I do mean his heel, not his knee, okay? So, if you hook it at the knee, you're going you're gonna to lose a bit of control you want. So, from here, I'm going to take all my weight forward, and I'm going to step on his heel there. And if that happens, I'm happy now that I'll give him some space to move, because I feel like I'm probably going to win this exchange. So, the love handle's going to come off. I'm going to map what we call marry the hips. So, big move here. I'm going to post it to his ass and I'm going to marry my hips there. So, you see, my bottom hip marries to his top hip. I drive this foot slightly up. I'm going to go belly down. The bottom leg comes through. If I'm going to get the weird. And then I try and walk with both my feet on top. And if that's a lot of jiu jitsu to see. This isn't low percentage. This is one of the 101 10th planet things. Easy way to remember this is both the legs are on top. Because your brain is going to tell you to do it this way. I don't know why, if you are going to take it kind of like a lockdown, both the feet are on top, alright? Nice and easy today, I'm just going to reach over to the toes, and my shoulder is going to land as close to the bottom of cheek as possible. So, my shoulder is going to land, if you struggle with the roll, it's probably because you're landing over there, okay? So, it's effortless, I'll show you what I mean. There is a little tip I can give you to, to make it easier, but we'll get there in a second. So, toes first, otherwise you'll switch and I'll lose the position. I take my post away, and I just drop in. And look how much effort that took for me to swing over there. Nothing at all. Um, what time is it, mate? Yay. This is a weird place to look at. Half twelve. <laughs> half twelve. Half. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go straight to the back then. There's half choices here, which come for free, okay? But we'll, we'll get straight to the back. So with my roll, um, I, get to, I get to this position here. Stomp on the foot. Underhook. Push the wrist down. Collect the wrist. And we're in for our rear naked choke. And I'll show you that a bunch of times, okay? Such an easy path to the back. If you're in the truck, if you're, in the truck you're on the back. Yeah. On the back, you're in the truck. We've got this exact flow, but the other way around, to get us into the truck. It's really easy. All right, so we'll start from that twist to side, just get, get things over to win that time. Um, fishnet, little handle, um, and we're ready to go. So pin for a second, let it calm down, and then we'll wait for oh. forward, and I'm gonna go foot to heel. And I don't wanna go foot to knee, or feel right to go foot to knee, but you're going to get in your own way if you do that. Once that happens, I'm happy to marry the hips. So, love handle off. And bottom hip to top it, okay? Drive the foot forward. And then I like to go belly down. Bottom leg comes through. Triangle. And my foot goes in front of his. Ready to roll, okay? So, I do need the toes. If I don't have the toes, I'll just switch 180. And we'll end up with both of the full guard, okay? Butterfly guard, overhook. Go, go, go. So grab the toes, and then look, shoulder as close to his ass as possible. Um, if you're struggling with the roll, it's probably because you can do nothing wrong. So here, yeah, and that is, as we roll, I throw, I go under hook, and straight back down. So I go under and straight down. I don't like go here, let him get his grip together, and then go down, it's straight away, bang, tight. Shoulder, and wrist. Leg comes over, remove, so there's a bit of space as I remove, space management, and then the space goes away, the knee comes in. Okay, so it's not heel into belly, it's knee coming in. Back of the hand on the back of the head. Grab, so grab your bicep. We squeeze our elbows together. And I'm not sure if you guys do this here, but uh, really recommend it if you don't. When I choke people like this, or when I choke anybody anywhere really, the choking elbow goes backwards. So this is a normal choke. Not bad. Not a choke, you'll go out. So I'm out, you're out. And this is what we do. So elbows together and then you bring this elbow backwards. So not only have we got the blood choke, 
we've also got a windpipe crush. And that's where that, that's where that wind, that's where that choker's cough comes from. <coughs> People come out coughing, that's the windpipe coming back out. Really nice. Sometimes. Um, do you want to see that, Matt? No. Come on, you've had, a, you've had enough rest, man. <laughs> so the windpipe crush, a bit more on that. Find back to that. I'll go for my twist aside and just skip that first step. Whoa! <laughs> so you can't always be ready. So, um, fishnet, love handle, pressure. Okay, can I get this? Yep, he's mine now. We're in the truck, he just doesn't know yet. So, I'm going to marry the um, I'm going to put the feet on top, marry the hips. Big detail there. Look at my butt. Look at my butt. Right, Brad? Yeah. See that? I'm going to put some money in my belt or what? <laughs> um, I need this far side foot or it will just reverse the position if he knows what he's doing. If it's too far away and I can't grab it, I'll just wait. We play this here, tentacle, and I will just wait. Anybody with a blue belt, the big thing for your purple belt should be patience. Just learn the art of, I'm in a completely dominant position. What have I got to worry about here? Um, he's got to work this leg out before I'm even in danger. And to be honest, I could always just do that, right? But let's hunt for bigger fish today, right? Um, but what have I got to worry about? Just because his legs out there. And people will do it. And there are things I can do. But I'm just going to wait. Forever. There we go. Until it comes to me. Always control at the toes. Never the foot. Okay. So if I control at the toes, kick that off, mate. It's just my forearm versus his whole leg. If I control down here, kick that off, mate. <laughs> Completely different, right? I'm not strong. But technique should win, okay? And then where does my shoulder land when I do this roll? Where's my shoulder going? That's it, yes. I marry the hips. And it's the... Obviously you're controlling his foot with this arm, so it can't, you can't roll over this shoulder, right? That wouldn't, that wouldn't make sense. And people will, because um, it's their dominant side. It'll be your non-dominant arm, most probably, most probably, that goes in. And then we just drop. So your truck is there, but we're not going to the truck, we're going to the back. So you're always better off if you can do it in one motion. If you do end up with the truck first, you can do this stomp here to turn him. But let's try it. Ah, show you one more else. So here, I want it to be there, there, there. All one move, okay? This is part of the move. Because if I let him settle, then that would matter. The grip fight is so, you know, Anybody that watches it down her stuff will know what you can do with it. It's a pain in the ass. Oh, more of this. Hook over the top. Bit of space. And then knee drive straight. Try to get that back. Cool, perfect. And then back of the hand on the back of the hand. He tucks his chin. Not my problem. His problem. Squeeze. And we're backwards. Cool. Anything below the nose is the neck. So just because your partner tucks their chin, whatever. I hope they've got a good dental. I don't know, I don't understand. And if the nose will be tricky, you can keep obviously side of the thing. You can get your nose crushed and it sucks. But anything below here should get choked because you can crush it all here. And um, you know, there's a lot of people that's you know, it's disrespectful, it's disrespectful if you're not under the chin. Fuck off. Is it disrespectful to inside heel hook something and pull out their ACL to be mm -hmm. It's not disrespectful, it's just it's like, there are there are things you can do to pick the chin up. But in, in our gym, it's all fair. You can always tap. If you worry, you can always tap, right? Anything below the nose is the neck. So face cranks, all that sort of stuff. It's all good. White belts can do it. You can all do it. Not you. Good to be. Anybody want to see that again? Rolling back tape. So there is, yeah, one more. Uh, Brad, for you, mate. There is a flying version of this, which I'll show you before I go. This is all I want to say. Last bit of tech for today. But there is a flying version that's called a ninja roll, which is really cool. Though. And because the camera's back out, I'll probably do it. Um, but this, this is the better version, no doubt. Look, I'm not doing anything. I'm waiting. He I didn't do it. He did it. He chose to go to attack mode, not me. I'm going to on this. I'm going to test him out. Okay, there he wants it. He wanted the truck, so I'm on the heel. The bottom leg, the knee that was already on the hip was there the whole time. That foot just comes through behind his knee. Try it. You want a tip for flexibility there, you can go down, down, sit your other, and then come back on, okay? And then once I'm here, all I do is marry it. And then I wait until that foot does what I want it to do, okay? Perfectly safe, kind of waste. And if that foot's far away, he knows the gang is hind it. Start messing with this one. Even if you're not going to get it, look what's happening. There we go. It'll, it'll always come back into play. And if it doesn't come back into play eventually, it's up. So we're in. Shoulder to book, roll, and then stomp. So the back's going to see Brad wanted that back, and it's just nice and quick. Nope. Get him while he's asleep. Back of the hand on the back of the head. Obviously, you guys do what you guys normally do if you play this differently. We just got to play the back of the hand on the back of the head. Ear to ear. 
squeeze hips in, obviously, play with your choke, but yeah, make sure you can, there's that 30% thing, right, that was minus 30% to be fair to well. <laughs> but there it is, I could be, I could be this guy on the back, oh, I could burn myself out, or I could be this guy that just goes, any taps, no effort, right, if you're going to be my slender physique and grapple, you're going to need to clean up some of these techniques, because you ain't got that strength and cardio. Here we go. So you got one, two. The game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up. It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend of me. It's not working now. Maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's my The exact flow that we should, should, should the exact flow that we just did can be done in one move, okay? It's called a ninja roll. This is the flashy stuff. And what happens is people will try this without learning the, the truck stuff that we just did, and they'll be like, that doesn't work, it's gonna fall off the bat. It does work, you've got to get super good. There's, you know, there's loads of different styles of jiu-jitsu, but the, you know, the two that I really think about are there's this style now, and this is your Imanari rolls, and there's no real contact, no real clinch or control, and you're just like a spinning back kick, you're just trying to throw them off and hit them, and there's a place for that, but you know, we like that stuff too. Um, and then it's the smash, everything's controlled. I wait for them to move, do they go where I want them to go? Boom! Yeah, cool. And everything's where you want it to be. To me, that's the style of jiu jitsu that you should really work on. That's where you should put your most time because it will never, never let you down. Um, that's that sort of chess jiu jitsu. Well, let's say I'm here, and he perhaps doesn't know the system as well as some, he does this big inversion. I can just marry the hips, jump, throw, collect, boom, all in one. So that whole flow is just one big move. And it's, it, it's almost easier to take the back with that kind of flow because there's a lot of momentum there. Just one more time, mate. Because of course it doesn't have to Jack. be back. Could be easy. Oh yes, I'm not doing it. He's doing it. He inverts. I take this. There's a tiny little fish net. Maybe I go here. Maybe I'll go. Oh, I've got the arm. Oh. Let me take this twist a bit. Like that. All over the place. All because. All because he dared do this. How dare you? How dare you to be the disrespect of doing this? Oh, I'm going to hit that. Flying. And that's exactly the same as what we just did, but it's just one move. I think, I don't know if my guys are back here, you're better off smashing them to bits. Bit by bit, put it in slowly and steadily. That looks really flashy and they're like, oh man, that was cool, hit that. But way better, in my opinion, is this guy. All, all the connection. Yeah, he's like, nah, fuck that. I want to spot into the cage. <laughs> <laughs> That's how easy it is to sleep people. <laughs> from here. Any questions on any of that, guys? It's been great to meet you. I think we've got like 15 minutes left. You guys want a couple of rounds? It's fine by me. Might go a couple more rounds here. Yeah. Let's get threes on the clock, is that alright? We just have a few. We're, we're killing each other anything. We're not trying to murk anybody. But I don't want really you to think all we do is 20% flow. Fuck that. Bragging rights is for go go clinch or anything from the truck. A ninja roll, alright? Beautiful. With your partners now.
But it's good to be out there and get different shapes, right? You guys know I look at your eyes, I have coats like this, seen everything, done everything. Brilliant, yeah, but also, I mean, I don't know what your policy is on <laughs> going to the gyms, but... Don't hey, allow it. Go out there, see all the shapes you're going to do. Don't train with these, no point. We, uh, if they go train another gym, we have to take a finger off, and then every time they go to the gym, it's another finger they have to take off. Keep cutting out. Yeah. <laughs> when they run out of fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of different styles, a lot of different shapes out there. So you want to get, you want to get your hands in there, some killers. There's some killers coming to our gym, blue belts. I'll be alright, just a blue belt. Sound Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Most of them smoke weed in a conspiracy theory. What it says, not like me, right? I'm not, no way. What do you mean, truth? Truth. 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 I think that's like conspiracy factuals. Eat together, but don't get it started, alright? So, flexibility again. For tonight, didn't really, for today, didn't really use it, but still, work, work, and I'm like, why would you? Both feet out front, hands behind, scooting forward. And then bend your elbows a bit of a bad wrist. Just like now, you can press your feet, some of the bad stuff. Now switch your legs. Up your pump. Left hand, palm facing in. Rotate that to the middle of your chest. Right hand is going to grab the back of the left without the thumb, so the thumb's doing nothing, so it's just this, Marcel team style. Elbows together and then use your knees to finish off that stretch. This is from our salad team show. Really, really good guillotine. So you're hitting them leg locks in your own way, fights. Yeah, I mean, you can't hit the hogs. Oh, oh, yeah, no, no twisting. Right, yeah, but DQ is it? DQ went inside the elbow, that's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Switch your hands. What is that to my guys? If you twist to somebody in an amateur fight, don't worry about it. I'll buy you a belt. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh, everybody was burned out. That's my goal. That was nah, coming when everybody's burned that's out. Jump in at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Great session, guys. Good to meet everybody. Cheers. <laughs>